Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing absolutely fabulous. Thanks for joining for our daily reading. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're brand new, my name is Shannon, and I'm glad to have you. Um, I'm just spiritual on this channel. We seek for the truth, and sometimes we get real hard information that comes out, so just buckle up. I feel energy, so I'm known at times when energy flow is coming through me. Uh, it could it could be strange to you on the other end, possibly. Possibly not. I, don't, I guess it just depends on who you are. Um, but anyway... Um, I could have moments where I'm feeling a certain way and that might be strange to you. It's just because I am having an energy flow. I'm also known to be real intense at time when energy is coming through me. I'm just totally yielded to the spirit of truth. And um, I'm connecting with the great divine of the universe, uh, author and maker of all things. Uh, the scripture is found in the tarot, so uh, I am uh, connecting to the one and only Jehovah Elohim. People call him the universe. He's got many names about him. He's powerful. He is to be revered, and I do. My, ch my channel's not churchy. It's not religious either. It could come across that way. I do honor the scripture that's found here. But uh, uh, I keep uh, all ten of the commandments. They're good commandments for us to, to uh, keep and have written upon our heart. And so, you know, Jehovah, he's the one running the whole universe. And he's got ways about him. And I honor him through keeping those commandments. I do have a Hebraic descent. So uh, our people are instructed to keep them. And it is actually the whole duty of man to keep the uh, commandments. But uh, you have free will just as much as I do. And you hope don't want no robots. He wants uh, us to choose him. And so, anyway, this is kind of who I am on my channel. You'll just learn me as we go. Uh, I love Yeshua. Jehovah is Yeshua. But I do kiss the son that walked among us in the flesh. And uh, he is our prophecy here. Okay, so, anyway, I just um, am who I am. And uh, you are who you are, I guess. <laughs> If it's a birthday, and I'm still trying to wake up as well, people, so please just be um, patient with me. I've been up for a while, but I haven't spoken today, and I'm still um, on, I've only had like a cup and a half of coffee, so we'll try to get through this uh, reading here. If it's your birthday, though, and, and, and an anniversary as well, I hope it's fantastic for you guys. I really do, and I send all people who are down and out and going through a real hard time love and light uh, for any kind of depression. Uh, just let Jehovah allow His Holy Spirit to come in and be the lifter of your head because he loves to comfort us if you just call upon him uh, he'll save you through that he really will uh, even if the storm is a raging um i get it all right Jehovah, i appreciate you today we will enter into your gates with thanksgiving in our heart into your courts with praise sha'ar we call our walls yeshua salvation and uh, we just ask for you to just come on into our city gates and um, and run the show today, Jehovah, because you are the governor of the nations, and uh, we just bless you. Jehovah, rebuke and bind and block every foul, wicked, dark energy and shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs. What do you want to bring out here? Thank you. Uh, somebody might be feeling insecure, uh, maybe around physical things. It's a five of pentacles. This is feeling left out in the cold for some people. This can be a forgiveness card if something did take place around some, some ordeal. Um, and somebody might be, you know, insecure about, you know, some physical that took place around some ordeal. The card states something about fearing surrounding some type of a money ordeal. Uh, needing wisdom to accept some type of help from others or to give help. I mean, if you see somebody, but there's something around the ordeal and you want to go help somebody, there's some type of um, insecurity here. Jehovah will go before you and, uh, you know, lead that thing for you. There's some type of self-employment or uncertain employment type of energy coming out here. Uh, five can also go to grace. Okay, finding grace here as well. Somebody pour in their spirit because of some ordeal that took off, and I guess that's what's here. Wait, somebody had a significant life change. The tower is showing up here today. All right, well, let's see. I, I apologize for any glare in the camera. Let me see if I can't fix this a little bit better. Maybe that might be better. I mean, it took a little bit of the lighting away, but maybe... Let me see. Hold on just a second here. <clears throat> I'm not sure. If it made that worse, I apologize. Um, 
I just feel like the glare was just so much in here. All right, so the tower is just like a, a paradigm shift within some. That could be positive or negative. I mean, it's obviously a jolt. If some type of truth has broken something free for somebody, um, then that's life-changing, especially if you've already been feeling, my God, I've been thrown out or feeling secure because something's happened around some ordeal in a very physical way or with money or whatever's happened here and something's now happening to uh, change that thing for something positive, um, then somebody be, will be able to break free from something, okay? Somebody knows that they, they're they insecure or somebody around some ordeal is insecure because of something that happened. The tower can go back to um, the eyeball. If you are new, it's the letter Ein in the Hebrew and, uh, it, it, you know, obviously it's the eye of understanding and knowledge. The 11th house goes back to I know is the motto of that house. And so somebody knows something about some insecurity, knows something about money, knows something about something physical that went down. Or there's an eyewitness around some ordeal. Somebody got fired. Somebody the other day was, you know, getting fired or being let go of something. Uh, it's changed everything within some ordeal. <clears throat> it's some type of a disaster is known about within a matter and now somebody's like well what well, god what do i do type of energy that's here then i guess that's what it's showing um but this goes back to genius type of energy if somebody's humbled because it's also goes back to pride um somebody's at least smart to be able to do something here or somebody around the connection should be able to this also go back to sexual ordeals as well the letter a could be prevalent to somebody with the letter i what's this about Jehovah? what do i bring out about it there's stubbornness here and just command for the truth to come to the surface right here, right now. You will come to the surface. The, the, this is stubbornness in this house as well because it's pride and ego. Some type of a returning energy is here twice. We have the reconciliation card of the temperance. Okay, if this is sexual ordeals, then, you know, the tower goes back to sexual ordeals. And in the Hebrew, this is the sperm. Uh, also, somebody's husband is here because the ninth house goes back to a husband energy for some of you all. Somebody's feeling insecure around some ordeal uh, in a very physical way that's taking place where somebody was not tempered in something. Then I guess that's here. This is um, a river in the Hebrew. It's also a deliverance as, as well. Like I said, if somebody got some type of knowledge of something that boom just totally changed everything it broke something free uh and it's going to change for the better this is luck energy in the ninth house um somebody's just trying to get their balance they know that they need to return this a reconciliation um but it's if something's been a devastating horror within some matter and they know they need to return but there's some type of a uh, issue around that that's making an insecurity uh within the return for some type of forgiveness um then i guess something's here somebody's in their mind about it the eight of swords is here okay well somebody really in their mind about returning this is um also about returning with the six of cups this is nostalgia about something Nostalgia about some ordeal is here, and there's there's insecurity around it. Until your children are here, your soulmates are here. Uh, we have heirs to kingdoms here in the Hebrew. Uh, somebody's name could be Anne. This is the letter N. This is I take the first letter of these for the Hebrew. This is the letter Noon in the Hebrew, but I take the first letter in our alphabet. So A N Ann is here. Anna could also be here as well. Okay, that or some type of connection um, with your family, with your children, with your husband um, is here. Or somebody from the past involved in some ordeal that was some type of a destructive thing that's taken place. Somebody got pregnant since the, some sexual matters are out here and somebody's in their head about that ordeal. I guess that's here because there's children. But this is salvation. This is also a prophet. you got spiritual leaders then that really keeps coming up really big in the last couple of days. We have somebody has been sitting here pounding at the tree, pounding at the tree. Will you take this?
cup because it's the hand of Yehovah. We seen this cup yesterday, and somebody from another deck poured it out. And that's dangerous. That's really dangerous. Since that this is dangerous as well. That's would be a destruction. If somebody knew that they should have done or not did something, and um, they took something that should have been a, a, a blessing from the heavens and poured it out. And somebody's you know in their head because they know now about an ordeal and they need forgiveness then by god take the cup and get forgiveness then okay we got a lot of cups here we got the, the angel has two cups here we got six cups here there's flowers in these cups and then we've got three cups down here with soulmates it's, something's happened somebody's just been contemplating something trying to figure out in their mind in their mind uh knowing about some ordeal but there is a cup that we are truly seeing out of the heavens for somebody in this reading um i want to take from my homemade deck and uh let yohova just pick Hope you just pick through my hands information about this situation. There's been abuse here, and there will be justice. You'll have stated so. Somebody was a this is an incarceration card. This is a jolt in a what, whatever the type of if it was sexual abuse, it was sexual abuse. Uh, if it was just any type of abuse, I did a reading the other day, yesterday, matter of fact, and there was a abusive type of stuff that uh, went down, and somebody was real slow now because it got beaten. Um, this shows somebody's normally in the rider weight, the crown of the head being knocked off and things like that. So it's some type of a insecurity around something that's known about that abuse. Then there's abuse out here within some ordeal. Okay, somebody's husband's abusing children or just anybody in the family or something like that. Then I guess that's here. Okay, not good. Somebody who refuses to take any steps to obtain some type of knowledge is needed. Okay, well, this is about knowledge. Okay, if somebody's abusing somebody, their pride and their ego is here. And uh, that's just how they operate in in, in their life. They, they, there's somebody, that, there's children here. And that ain't okay to be around somebody who's just, I refuse to take any steps to go get help. Because people... Obviously, we got knowledge here. I know and I perceive somebody needs help. And somebody's saying, no, I don't need no help. Uh, because it, somebody's got bouncing issues going on. Jehovah says there will be justice. Okay, there will be. It's not right. Somebody uh, is dealing with uh, some or so offset of any type of abuse. If you've just been abusing yourself in your own mind about returning just, you know, on a lower key of things. And something went down within some relationship. Somebody's now come to the knowledge of something and saying, I lied to myself about who you were and I need you to forgive me. That's written on this card. We also have um, something that has taken place in the city that's that's become desolate and Jehovah is saying you're going to break forth on, on the right and on the left and you will inherit the, the desolate places in which it went down and I guess where you live at and um, you'll be able to inhabit uh, again if you come and forgive if you don't forgive you're never going to be forgiven people that's just the way it goes with your hold up something had been hidden in a safe and we got money and so something's known about something that was hidden in a safe and let's go back to fortune we got money here now and something had went down within some ordeal um then i guess there's knowledge about that there's something destructive um if somebody got stolen from or something was just they found evidence of something yesterday and so somebody found something in a safe and now somebody's the knowledge of that thing um, has just turned something just completely around in some ordeal. Then whatever that is, something about something has been hidden in a safe. Uh, Jehovah says that the wicked are going to be removed. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Jehovah, you just tell it. No one can tell it like you. Somebody was told to stay away from somebody and just act like they didn't give a rip about them. Okay. So yesterday there was some type of bribe or something like that. Um, before I turn the camera on, Jehovah was having some cards jump out for me. And that type of energy was there coming out. Somebody um, 
you know, some somebody was blackmailed in, in some ordeal. And um, they are coming back now, is what Yehovah said. We have been getting information on the channel about your family wants to heal with you. Something real bad has went down somewhere. There's been abusive behavior around some ordeal somewhere. And something went really wrong and it's become desolate. And some type of ordeal about lying to yourself or somebody around them lied to themselves about who somebody was I guess they were prideful or some ordeal is now just taking place and uh, there's some there's some situations out here that are known about now uh, something something wicked has been around the ordeal or your family or something like that and you'll hope it says somebody was told you are not going to talk to this person you are not that's abusive behavior okay and you'll hope it says that they are they're coming back they're going to come back it shows it right here this is reconciliation this is reconciliation this is forgiveness of something a clarity of a mystery has now been known again something's just like boom something known something has been hidden um within some matter i guess connected to whatever was hidden in the safe a child did see what happened this came out the other day we have children right here and there's been fraud issues around some ordeal okay well I guess there's been fraud issues around some ordeal uh, somebody's been in terror well because there's been abuse there's been abuse out here on somebody and I send you love and light there will be healing Jehovah's going to see to it that you're going to get your justice. Okay, if you're dealing with somebody who has spinal issues or something like that, or the fifth house also goes back to the upper spine. I don't have to, you know, be dealing with that, but it, but it is coming out here. Um, this is the the letter D H, or it can also represent in this um, alphabet the letter T H could be here. Um, it's some type of um, strategy was here within some ordeal. There's uh, calculations of something. We have fraud issues. We got money out here then as well some type of uh, um, money situation has been here uh, projects have been here as well with this rune somebody found some type of good luck and they wanted to take it up before somebody else took it that's what this room also can represent um, some type of uh, game possibly could have been being played with somebody's life around some stupid ordeal. This goes back to a risk of uh, weakening for breaking any type of rules within some ordeal. Uh, let me just say in the Hebraic language, the spine goes back to elders that hold you know, the uh, tribe together type of energy. We have a husband energy, which would be like the head of a household type of ordeal here uh, or business would be here since we got pentacles as well um, and so somebody broke some type of rules just being in leadership or over the head of household or something like that and something something's something's gone down there is a there is some type of a weakening here because boom something's just been overturned and there's there's feeling left out in the cold because of something that's went down and somebody's been abused and told you ain't gonna go by your family or you're gonna act like you don't like them because something's happened happened here okay if a destruction's taking place somebody died out of the ordeal we have wickedness out here okay uh, something's gone down in the city itself because we got a um a scripture out here talking about uh, the city itself something within the city has become desolate but Jehovah says i'm gonna break you out and you're gonna go ahead and, and, and something's gonna be returned to you and you're gonna be able to fill that uh place up and um you're gonna break forth and uh, be blessed okay so whatever this is um we got this room coming out today. You hope it's going to make everything right. If you know information, somebody told you to stay away from your family, and they blackmailed you, you need to break free today and go, I don't think so anymore. You don't own me. You don't. Because there's there's somebody needs to go to jail. There will be justice out here. Nobody gets to do that to anybody. Nobody gets to do it, especially if there's children involved in some type of an abuse. That's wickedness. Let fire and brimstone come down upon that idiot that's done that stupid nasty. That's gross. Nobody gets to do something like that to nobody. You always says if you don't do it today, then it's gonna it's gonna cost you and your family. Okay, and so obviously if that's also happened in the past, and somebody just waited and waited and waited and knew that they should have returned, even though somebody had put some type of ordeal on them, then something's happened. Okay, then something's happened. But somebody is being told if you don't do it today. 
uh, it's going to cost you and your family. Okay. You need to go and reunite and get rid of some type of an abusive uh, situation here. Okay. So we do have a home and family that is appearing on the other side of that. Somebody says, we need to talk. Yes, you do need to talk. You do need to talk. And there's flowers here on the other side of the um, deck here. Thank you, Yohova. There will be justice for these idiots. Don't be afraid. Because we got terror out here. And we got fear here. And we got some type of a jolt here. It's somebody in their mind and in nostalgia and contemplating how to return. You just get up and you just do it. You just get up and you just do it. You go to the person that you need to. And then you and that person go to whoever need, you need to go to outside of that. Thank you, Yehovah, for giving justice. We have um, a lover that has been here around some ordeal for some of you all. But if you deal with somebody who plays music, then you, you could be as well. Um, we have death issues that have been here. Okay. We also have a reunion. And again, we have returning energy here. Real big or something did happen at a reunion. But again, if you don't do this today, it's going to cost in a very big way. Somebody needs to bring some information, come back around and love uh, in, in all sincerity here and get out of your mind and just do the deal. Somebody has been a liar around some ordeal. This is a falsity card. Some, this is somebody been real sneaky around some ordeal. Again, somebody told somebody you ain't going to talk to your family. You ain't going to talk to whatever. That person don't own you. Okay. You need to turn that person in. Something did happen a celebration. Then it did. That There will be some type of a, a celebration and cheerfulness here uh, if you get up and do the right thing. Okay. Because it's here at the bottom of the deck, we have somebody who's just been sighing. Well, you just let them sigh. Well, we have this can be a wid, uh, widow card. We have a widow and a widower. Okay, so if you got things happening on two sides of an ordeal, then I guess you do. Okay, you hold one last. Uh, there has been another man or another woman involved in some ordeal and some something precious has been here and that's children that's been abused. So somebody did get abused because they did step out, something happened and whatever that ordeal is, somebody could be jail worthy for some situations that's gone down. Let me take one more. Listen to your gut and just get up and do the right thing. This is what come out until next time. Shalom.